In this video, we are going to make a delicious fat burning crock pot recipe to put that nutrition on autopilot. Too many people <laughs> are eating boring, baked, dry chicken and broccoli, and we don't want you to be one of them. By the end of this video, you will have the easiest, tastiest shredded chicken as a staple for your weekly eating routine, so let's get cooking. That was the best one. This is a very, very flexible, forgiving dish that when I learned this, I was actually surprised how easy it was. So really all you need is you need some type of chicken breast. We got it from Aldi's here, cleaned it, cut it up. We actually cut it like that, so we butterflied it. It cooks a bit better. And the only other thing you need is some type of fluid. I'm using this bone broth today. It's high protein. You may have seen us use this before. Nine grams of protein per cup. So we are creating a very, very high protein, easy dish. Now that's pretty much all you need to do it, but afterwards, all the ingredients are optional. I do recommend some type of seasoning. We use this low sodium taco packet from Aldi's, but also using things like garlic salt, paprika, using a lot of that stuff, you can season it up, make it very flavorful as well. Add a little bit of salsa, adds a bit of texture, adds quite a bit of flavor. We're gonna be adding a handful of other things. You can use as much or as little of this as you like. We're gonna go with some red onion. We have quite a bit of bell pepper in here and also quite a bit of jalapeno for a good bit of kick. That being said, the videos that we're showing everyone is gonna be more for fat loss, staying lean. That being said, a lot of these things do have carbs. This is gonna have quite a bit of sugars in it. Sugars are carbs, so based on your goals, you can scale up or down the veggies based on what you need. And the last thing is gonna be adding a bit of garlic, which is a whole bunch of flavor. It's delicious. One teaspoon of this is gonna be five calories, which is absolutely phenomenal. So from here, once we have our ingredients, all we need to do is assemble. So let's do it. And again, it's one of the most flexible, forgiving dishes. When Rachel and I are doing this, we're like, do we have some of this? Do we have some of that? Can we make a shredded today? And more often than not, based on what we have, we normally can. So what we're gonna do is add in about three pounds of chicken. And when we make this, we typically eat like three days, four days from it. Depends how hungry we are. Depends how hungry we are. Anyway, what I do love is you can get some really quality protein in your fridge. So this is one thing that we pretty much always have on hand. From there, let's take a look. Stop saying from there. <laughs> you said it like 50 I'm times. I'm trying, I'm trying. So what we're gonna be doing is adding just a bit of bone broth. And what you wanna be doing is covering the chicken and you don't need to go too crazy. So once we kind of have her covered, we should be good to go. Let me get a little hand in there, move things around. Now keep in mind that the vegetables are gonna be sweating a little bit. So when we add in the peppers, the jalapeno, the salsa, we're also gonna be adding quite a bit of fluid. You don't need to fill it up to the brim by any means. So next up is going to be our bell pepper. We did red, green, or we did red, <laughs> yellow. I know my colors. We did red, uh, red, yellow, and orange. From next, there. <laughs> next is jalapeno. Next, onion. And uh, we will add a salsa. Get this guy in here. What you can do, you see how there's still quite a bit in here. What I like to do is get this guy a little bit wet. Take a look in here, can you see that? Okay, that way we're just adding a whole bunch of flavor. Cleaned out this guy. He's good for recycling and we're ready to go. Next up, taco packet. I'm just putting the full thing in here. Right now I'm gaining a bit of weight. I can have some fun. I don't need to be super strict. So we're doing this. We're gonna get a bit of garlic. We love garlic. Garlic's so good. So garlic in we go. Woo, went hard on that one. Not gonna be kissing anybody in this video. Last thing, we probably just wanna give this a mix. You can use your hands. If you don't like the texture of everything, you can probably get a little uh, get a little spoon. I'm just gonna use my hands. Now we're just gonna try to spread everything out. Spread it. Do you wash your hands? I wash, of course I wash my hands. Okay. All right. So the last thing is going to be the times. Now there are two different options for you. Number one is cook it on high for four hours. The second option is cook it on low for eight. Honestly, the flavor is the exact same thing. This is more about your schedule. So based on your schedule, if you're working for eight hours that day, set it in the morning, have it done at night. We typically set it in the morning, so I have it for lunch, just because I work at home. And it's also pretty late right now. So it is about 8 p.m. This is gonna be done at midnight, but that way we have a meal prep for tomorrow. So just set it to high, should be done around midnight. We'll check back with everyone then. So we are done, it's a little bit late. Let's take a look at this. 
It's delicious. I have these guys from the Pampered Chef, so what I like to do is just get my claws in here. Grab this guy up. I think these claws were like 30 bucks. Silicone, dishwashable. Now if you don't have those claw type things, what you can do instead is get yourself little forks. You can pull some of the pieces out like this, just shred it like that. There we go. Then what you wanna do is put it back in so it soaks up a lot of the flavor. But as you keep going throughout the week, having the same thing gets pretty boring. So we like to repurpose it a bit. So we do like a handful of different dishes that are all really delicious. So some type of tacos, some type of bowls, salads, all that sort of stuff. So if you haven't, throw it a subscribe. Okay, then once you're adequately shredded, I would just leave it in here so it soaks up a lot of the juices. This is when it does get super, super tasty. From there, you can take it, turn the heat off, just put it in a separate bowl. Ideally, you let it come down to temp a little bit, but right now it's late, so we're just gonna put the cover on, put it in the fridge so it cools off. It's again, a great source of protein, but just having the same thing over and over and over again is very boring. As a fitness coach, you want all of our clients having different things, enjoying what they eat, which is why just having baked chicken flat out doesn't really work that well. I did it for a while, but you like to have a variety, and this really is a phenomenal meal prep that we use to just get more protein in our diets, get a variety of dishes in, make it tasty. All right, now as I'm shredding this chicken, I'll walk through the average serving size for this dish. That being said, this is a bit tricky to calculate. When it is a bit super, you're not gonna be super accurate, but we're estimating about 250 calories per serving, protein 40 grams, carbs 18, and then fat 2.5. Again, you can scale this up or down based on your overall serving size, but based on what's in the crock pot, that's what you want to expect for the macros. For the veggies, I mentioned you could cut out some of them and uh, lean it up a bit, but you're only deducting six carbs. It's not worth it. The veggies are gonna add a whole bunch of flavor, add a whole bunch of texture. So go ahead and leave those in. For six carbs, honestly, not a big deal at all. So it's the next morning. We let everything sit overnight. And really the best part about this is the flavors blend together. This is a dish that actually does get better over time. Now, the reason why we like this is we love to have protein in the house for a variety of reasons. You know, getting the protein high is one thing that we always tend to do. All right, so here's a little sneak peek as to what we do with this dish. This one came out just a bit soupier, and that happens when you add a bunch of liquids, add a bunch of veggies. Again, it's all good. What we did here was made tortilla soup with it. So basically scooped out a lot of that fluid, put it in a bowl, crushed up some tortilla chips, a bit of a low fat mozzarella pepper jack cheese. It was very good. So currently I'm gaining just a bit of weight. If you are in a fat loss journey, it probably wouldn't be adding a whole bunch of extra carbs, chips, things like that. But for me personally right now, this is helping me get closer to my goals. So this is just one example. We're gonna walk through a handful of examples in upcoming videos. So again, stay tuned for that. We'll have it on top of salad. We'll have it on top of rice. Sometimes I just take the fork and go right in. No rules. So as far as reheat instructions are concerned, I've had some of the best versions of this dish just cold. So if you serve this on rice, serve this on a salad, especially if the rice underneath is a bit hot, it's gonna warm up just a smidge too. If you do wanna go for some heat, you can microwave it. We have things like burritos. We drain it, get some of that uh, the water out so it's not melting the tortilla, but that's how we uh, do reheat. So we actually keep some other protein stocked as well, but between the shredded chicken and some of the ground turkey that we have, we can hit our daily protein intake really no problem. The issue is you don't just wanna be having baked chicken, you don't just wanna be having ground turkey, you wanna have a variety of stuff going on just because it keeps your head in the game and it truly does not feel like a diet because when you're eating shredded chicken and it's spicy and you're doing a bunch of stuff, all of a sudden a lot of that feeling around, oh goodness, what do I eat, what do I do, just kinda of goes away because your nutrition's on autopilot and you actually enjoy it. And just a sneak peek, so it does look delicious, the smell is really good. It is nice and spicy, so if you aren't a spicy person, obviously don't put in all sorts of spicy seasonings or jalapenos, but we love spicy food. Gives it a really good kick, so honestly smells delicious. Right now it's about eight o'clock in the morning. I'm probably not gonna have this right out of the gate. I'm gonna have some eggs instead, but this is one of our staples that we use all the time. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope it is beneficial. You don't really wanna make your food suck, make your food very tasty, and this is an amazing staple to just keep in your house, do every week, especially as it gets a bit colder, 
it's pretty enjoyable. Okay, so that'll be it for this video. Make sure to subscribe because we are gonna be showing you what we do with that in upcoming videos. Comment, subscribe, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.